Hey, what's going on? We're back on Dragon Ball, and I had a couple of comments that were talking about how it might be good to have a little bit of commentary at the end to summarize how I felt about an episode. So I thought that was a great idea, so I'm going to try to remember to do that. Uh, no promises. But otherwise, we've, we're still season one. It's episode 14. We just had some big stuff happen in the last couple of episodes. We figured out some lore about the way the Dragon Balls work and Goku's history. So now we're moving on from, from there. But just to recap what I thought about, uh, you know, a lot of the recent episodes. I really think the storytelling in this show is is pretty dynamic. They've got some good characters and they're getting the comedy. One of the big things, they're getting the comedy out of the characters. Who the characters are, that's where they're getting that stuff. And that's something that's just lost in modern Hollywood. They don't understand that that's where you're supposed to get comedy one of the characters the guy you know he uh doesn't he's not as dynamic he doesn't have many characteristics he's kind of got this gimmick and he works on the gimmick of being afraid of girls or whatever uh obviously that's metaphorical <laughs> but he's afraid of girls and that's his gimmick and that's pretty much what he does so i don't know if it's gonna get rounded out at all but bulma and goku and oolong all have a little bit more to them than that guy and then there's that little blue bunny thing that doesn't really do much of anything so we'll see if some of the villains get more flesh out we just get them replaced or something like that because it doesn't seem to be a whole much to them but plot wise it had a good structure you know it was it was well balanced as we went through and felt like it had momentum i loved seeing different parts of the world i love that the the hermit like, wise old hermit character is just a terrible, horrible, lecherous pig. So that <laughs> that's a plus. But overall, you know, I think Goku is just a really likable character. He's got that naive thing that's really a motivation. He's got some tragic backstory, or things you don't know about him, a lot of mystery around it that they just maintain, you know, for a few episodes in now. So there are a lot of good things, a lot of good things about this show so far when it comes to storytelling in general so we'll see if they we'll see how much they maintain that but for now we're going to go on to episode 14 season one episode 14 where are we is this a new place i don't remember these mountains the crew the crew broke up goku's rival appears what I'm not, I don't think this is how this works. You can't just show up at somebody's house and be like, okay, I'm staying here. Okay, the crew's lost in a jungle. Sans Goku. Who's that? What is going on here? Wait, was that the same guy? Is Blueberry Guy the same as Bald Guy? So obviously plane crash is a little <laughs> it's one of those stayed plot contrivances to keep things going. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was like he must have switched his game up to get a couple of women in there to do the holy hell, there's a shot. I wonder if this is some kind of a sublimation of perversion <laughs> to say, look, the Old genius, incredible fighter Hermit is a pervert, so it must be fine. <laughs> hey, oh, that's nice. Now they're in the desert? We had a jungle and now it's a desert, so we're not seeing anything more from the jungle? Okay. jungle. <laughs> <laughs> He has a quest. Good thing to clarify. Oh, he's getting all dressed up. He got one. Oh, okay. That's voluptuous. She agreed, though. I mean... <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> like old timer Tinder. Alright. That's a pretty good choice. 
Dude, what is this? He opens with the weather. Oh, that's the catch. He only he only showed him a picture of the top half, so so that makes sense. Gee, all these terms. Don't do it, mermaid. Don't do it. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> he meant punch. <laughs> it's a bald blueberry guy. Okay, that's not the most impressive entrance I've seen. Oh, is he coming to train too? Careering? Oh my gosh. He already knew the reputation. This kid came to play. <laughs> they explained the joke. <coughs> Roasting him. Is he going to be able to ride it? Nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, they're all the same. Oh! Alright, Karirin and Goku, rivals. Um, not in the most wholesome academy for, <laughs> for these types of people. So overall, I was worried about how they are going to get it back going again after what happened in the last one. But it's decent. You know, we've got somebody new, we've got a rival, we separated the crew out so it doesn't get stale. So, structurally, it seems like a, a good idea. I don't know how much they're going to be able to <laughs> beat this lecherous hermit guy joke into the ground, but we'll see how long they can keep that up. But otherwise, yeah, uh, we'll see how it can maintain from here with the two disparate groups doing their disparate things. Hmm. <laughs>